<clears throat> How I look? How I look, guys? What's up, y'all? Back today. Um, today we are doing um, sweet potatoes, um, stuffed sweet potatoes um, with the chili, the vegan chili. I love vegan chili. I try to find ways to do the vegan chili, whether it's chili Frito pie or stuffed sweet potatoes or chili dogs, all that type of stuff. Um, I got this recipe when I wasn't cooking plant-based meals, so I just morphed it. And that's <clears throat> something that I always talk about. It's just a simple flip. It's just one or two ingredients that you have to change out. And that's what I'm here for, to help you navigate that. Um, so first off, I got my sweet potatoes in here in the oven. I have it on 400 degrees. Um, I'm guessing it'll take about 40 minutes to an hour. Um, depending on thickness, they're, they're pretty thick. So I'm expecting it'll be an hour to bake the potatoes. A quicker way would be to use the microwave, but I wanted to go ahead and bake them today. Um, also, what we'll be using is the, the Beatless Ground by Guardian. Um, I love this company. I've, I've used some other um, grounds, so use whatever you like, um, but I like to use Guardian just because there's no guessing with them. It's a fully plant-based company. Everything they do is plant-based. Like in this, it just has um, water, soy protein, organic caramel color, and all the oil, organic yeah, cane sugar, yeast ester, extract, onion powder, salt, garlic powder, natural flavor, sea salt, sugar, and spices. So, if you if you're not into soy, then this is you know you can get another ground product. There are a bunch of them out there. Um, beyond, I think it's pea protein, so you can use something like that. Um, but this is what I do when I call it's tasty. Also, I just want to show y'all some of the stuff that I buy. It is, um, and it builds what I eat. Um, this is my daughter's, but I thought I'd just show it because it's for the kids. Um, if you don't like Fruit Loops uh, with regard to the, the yellow and red coloring that they put in, then this is a good option. Uh, it's Cascading Farm Organic Fruit for O's. Um, some of the ingredients, whole grain oats, cornmeal, cane, sugar, tapioca syrup, oat fiber. Um, and then it has the coloring. It comes from elderberry juice concentrate, carrot concentrate, pumpkin concentrate, tomato, apple concentrate, um, natural flavor, dextrose, vitamin E, and added preserve for freshness. So this is what we get our daughter now. She has converted to these. She loves Fruit Loops, but she seems to like these. So we're gonna keep going with these until she determines, you know, she determines that she likes something. All right, so we got those two out the way. Um, I guess I could talk about the vegetables um, since that'll be quick. I got some organic julienne carrots. Um, I like the carrots because of the crunchiness, um, also the vitamin A that is, that's in them. I get the organic. I usually try to get the organic, so my rule of thumb is um, if I'm taking the skin off, I don't usually go organic. Um, but if I'm eating the skin, of course, like carrots, celery, pepper, and this and that. Try to get organic um, if the option is available. If not, um, I just try to wash it well. So I have Julian carrots. We got some organic sliced white mushrooms. We get the portobello. Um, earlier this week, we got the sliced white mushrooms. I like to flip back and forth. Um, I think the portobello is a little meatier than the white. I think it blends better with the nice stuff. So that's kind of how I go with it. Um, I got these. Um, so. My wife and my daughter, well, my wife loves these. We like we like the bread, all of us. Um, but this is salted caramel cashew milk. You know what I was telling y'all about the cashews? They're great and everything. Well, this is a cashew milk um, ice cream bar. Uh, my wife doesn't even like chocolate. And she loves their bars and their ice cream sack, which happen to have chocolate. Uh, but yeah, these are vegan friendly, non-dairy, no egg, of course. Uh, and then here are the bars. So the company is so delicious. It's a black I mean, the 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 coconut milk sandwiches. It's a they are amazing. 100 calories um, if you're doing with calories. Um, and then some other stuff I got. Celery, organic celery. I got sweet potatoes. Of course, the other sweet potatoes are in there. And I got organic russet potatoes. Um, you know, if you look at the history of potatoes, people will have different opinions on it. If they're GMO um, overall, but these are organic russet potatoes. So um, I'm basically look at it like if I'm gonna eat a potato, 
potato starch like this, I don't think. At least eat organic kind. Then we have um, poblano peppers. I actually just started cooking with these. But I think that I think the texture is pretty cool. Um, it gives a good flavor. Thanks. Um, these are not organic. Um, the store that I go to did not have organic poblano peppers, but I love them. I wash them off and make it do what it is. Um, then I have uh, these. So this is another Guardian product. Um, golden fishless fillets. Um, so basically, it's just like a what I call it. like a um, fillet of fish. It's not like Thanksgiving. Type of meat. It's pretty good. It's just something if you want something quick, you put it in the oven, put it in the microwave, and you get it done. Um, also got I like to use hunts. Um, this is for spaghetti. Um, we use it for pizza. Pizza sauce, all that, so it's crushed tomatoes. They, they didn't have this. Um, it's a black in the world right now. They, they didn't have this for a while, so all they would snag a couple hunts, crush um, tomatoes. And this is all this stuff, like you can crush on tomatoes and do all that, but it just makes things quicker. Um, and then I have, again, the Bonzo beans. Company called Westbury Natural. Um, and these are just chickpeas. Instead of having to cook them, which Chickpeas don't take long to cook, of course, but if you want to just have something quicker, you can get these or variations of it. Um, of course, my bonzo beans have a lot of nutrients and minerals and protein and all that good stuff. So, and then this is just mustard. This is organic mustard, organic mustard seeds. What I call it. Organic mustard I do use regular mustard as well. Like I said, I try not to go too crazy on trying to be organic as it not. Um, the main thing is I try to have balance. I don't always have balance, but I try to have balance. Like I said, I don't eat meat. I, I don't have a taste for meat. Like, um, sometimes I mean I may be tricked. Some of these products, like some of the the, the dairy-free products, have egg in them. So you may you may get tricked with that sometimes in the store or trick yourself. Not even the company trick, but trick yourself. So. It's just one of those things, man. It's just, it's a work in progress. Anytime you're, you're transitioning to um, dairy-free, um, egg-free, um, vegan, plant-based um, diet, um, way of life, lifestyle, you're gonna have some bumps in the road just because you're doing it all man. You're a failure. This isn't um, high school where you're taking tests. Like, you have to adjust and learn different things, learn what's in products. Like, you know, someone may see this and say, well, this has such and such, and then I'll have to go research. Um, and see, um, is that uh, a byproduct of uh, an animal? And basically, my journey, I just, you know, my family has a history of heart problems, um, so I have to be really careful about what I put in my body, um, and trying to keep my arteries clear. So that that's really why I went to a plant-based diet. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't had a perfect situation with regard to it, but I, I don't feel terrible. You know, I, I, I definitely don't feel terrible since I eat it. Anyway, that's just my grocery it's um, haul, it's what I did today at the store. Um, now we'll go ahead and get to making the chili. Like I said, we'll check on these uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, that, that's pretty hard, so it's going to take a while. I might have to bump this up to 450, see how that goes. So we, we might be cooking this video a little bit, uh, but, but I do want to go ahead and show y'all Let's get going. All right, y'all. So, um, basically, we're gonna start with my friend the red onion. We'll also get some uh, some avocado oil. Once again, it's a black Thanksgiving. Use avocado oil because of the high heat point. Um, so we'll add a little bit of that. This stuff does not produce fat, so it can burn quickly. Um, I actually got some spaghetti the other day that I, I kind of didn't um, oversee in the right way because I just kind of transitioned to these. Um, I was using a different different brand, but they don't produce what I call fat like brown beef. It's a 
like burn. So you want to make sure that you have the proper ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up the onion. I'm going to add the onion. I'm going to add the garden. Soon after, I'm going to add the I'm going to add vegetable broth. This will provide the moisture. I could add more avocado oil, um, but um, I'm trying to skip it. Watch my intake just a little bit with regard to fat. Even though it's a good fat, it's, um, it's not really the fat, it's the calories. Um, that's, that can help you reduce your intake. Add the vegetable broth. Also, very flavorful, very good. Like I said last time, you don't only just have that you can buy at the store um, chicken and beef broth. They do have vegetable broth. What I call um, Think about it, all the great flavors that you like in broth are actually the vegetables. So you get to go there. Um, I guess one thing I, I guess that I'm trying to do with this channel is, you know, there there are some experienced, expert, plant-based diet and vegans out there. When they they have a lot of the game. You always have to you know, tune up your game and pay attention to different stuff. But I, I like to deal with the people who are thinking about doing it and want to do a meal or two a week and all that type of stuff. Um, I just, I kind of I kind of really like tapping into that. Just because I, I know how it feels. I mean, I, I like to feel like that. Like I said before, when I, when I started out, I was just following the, uh, the Dr. Sadie diet um, with regard to, you know, it's a limited amount of type of beans you can eat. Like garbanzo beans, quinoa, banana beans, avocado, and then certain spices like you, know, you can. They don't. They don't suggest you use garlic. Things like that, right? This is what I call. Um, and as I, it's a you know, kind of skip. Got me into okay. This is my lifestyle. This is not just a diet. And I was gonna use some poblano pepper. Actually, I think I am, because I, I just want to add a little body to it. All right. So now I got the. They, they look just, they look uh, very similar to meat. Um, there's gonna be some haters out there. It's just like, ah, that ain't meat. But that's cool, because I mean, everybody has their opinion. Everybody has their viewpoint. But if, if you, my thing is, if you're looking to transition, and you have a little trend, like I'm still in transition period. Like I'm, I don't eat meat, I don't eat dairy, I don't eat eggs. Um, but I'm still in a period where I'm still using you know, the meat-like things. I do vegetable dishes and all that, but I still do the meat-like thing just because in my mind, I still need something that makes me feel like I'm a part of the part. You know? um, let me go ahead and show you what all we're gonna use in this. Um, we might use a little mustard, but probably not because we do have mustard seeds. So we're gonna use a little bit of ground. This is chili, right? This is, we make a chili, but we're making good chili. You know, I, I do my research on the best chilies around and what they use. Um, I use some of that the stuff that they use, but I also do my own thing because I, I made like fresh ingredients or whatever. But anyway, ground mustard, what I call um, Himalayan salt. Um, this this is the last thing we'll put in. Just you know, if you need the taste to, to be to be upped a little bit, we do the Himalayan salt. Uh, Fifty-seven flavor seasoning, the original seasoning. And we're gonna add that. This has this has body to it. It has all that you need, right? It's all that you need, and sometimes you may want a little more. This this includes Himalayan salt. It also includes other spices and dried vegetables. But yeah, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use ground cumin. This is very important because it gives you that thing right here. It's the chili and you get that aroma. It's the cumin. Then we do dark chili powder. Tomato paste, this is organic tomato paste, just tomato paste. Um, and 
then curry. So the curry is pretty important in all of this because it gives it that nice savory flavor um, that you want. One other thing Savory flavors, and then that just this gives it the balance that you want. Know. Some of the peppers, they're where, they're where I want them. Um, some of them are starting to get to the little bark portion, so um, we're ready to go. A little translucent. Of course, this is a red onion, so it's not going to be completely translucent. But this is 16 ounces, or no, I'm sorry, 13 ounces of um, beefless brown. It's, it's in the freezer section of the stores that you, you may go to. And if they don't have it, like I said, you can use another ground. It's a lot of ground. Some of them you have to chop up and kind of kind of cook before you add everything. This is already chopped up and ground up for you. Now you add that. Number one thing I, a little spilly spill. Number so, one thing I try to do, I stir it, get it mixed in. This ground is already cooked. It just needs to be warm. So you want to go ahead and immediately add some vegetable broth. And you just kind of want to be able to see it on the bottom. You don't want to be a full of vegetable broth, but, but you, you want to know it's there. You want to just kind of be able to peek through and see it on everything. And then you want to lower your heat. Now that everything's in, you want to go ahead and lower your heat. That ground is going to absorb quickly. It's going to absorb the oil quickly. It's also going to absorb the vegetable broth quickly. But because vegetable broth is water-based, it doesn't uh, set flame to the ground. So yeah, man, I'm going to show y'all this, just so y'all can see, man. I mean, we make nachos a lot of times. It's really one of my favorite things. Uh, we do Rotel, which, you know, I'm from Oklahoma, so when we say Rotel, that's basically, you know, queso. Chili con queso. We Rotel season, Rotel peppers. We got that. It's all local now, right? Now what you want to do is, and this is me eyeballing it. Um, I'll have a recipe at some point. But you want to add your chili powder. Two most important things that you'll use the most is the ground cumin and the chili powder. So, sprinkle a good amount. Just try to cover the top. That's what you want to start with. Because if you add too much, it'll get kind of bitter. You just want to cover the top of it. Just to it. So you cover the top. Use this sprinkle. Use this, not the sprinkler. But use the, the spoonful side. Sprinkle it and just go ahead and just coat the top of the meat. One thin layer. Not too thin, visible. But one layer all the same. Just to Show y'all what it looks like currently. It's that heavy man. It's a heavy pot. It's a heavy pot. Really, it distributes heat. So that's what it looks like. Just with the chili powder. Now we'll add the cumin. This is my favorite. I like. I love the aroma. But this can make things better. So you want to, like I said, cover the whole top with the chili powder. Just do half of it. The cumin. I'll show you something. So I just cover half of it, you see? Just half of it. This is the starting point. Whenever you're cooking without a recipe, don't go too hard too early. It's kind of like running, like running a, a mile, 800 meter race. Somebody got to be the rabbit, right? You don't want to be the rest. You know? So don't go out too early. Just add a little bit at a time. Do a coat and layer. So now you got ground mustard. You saw how I did that. So I'm gonna do probably quarter, cover like a quarter. A quarter of the meat. Cover a quarter of the meat with that same process. Same thing, quarter of the meat, 
it's a black Thanksgiving. Curry, you smell it. Mm. You smell this. It. This is what it's supposed to be. Now, 57 flavor seasoning. You want to do about four of this too. You don't want to go too crazy with this. This is what I call it. This is like thanks. Do a little bit of a thicker layer. You want to say what that was? Like a tablespoon? Tablespoon and a half? This is what I call it. All right, y'all. I've lost this dog on um, the video on the phone a couple times, um, so I want to break down what I did um, after adding the spices. So I had to open, or I opened the can of um, six ounce tomato paste. I did half of that, so three ounces of tomato paste. I added, I stirred it in, then I added a cup of vegetable broth. I also added one tablespoon and a half of agave nectar. Um, and then I just let it, you know, simmer down, reduce. After it reduced, I checked it out. This is how it looks, right? It's not watery, but it's not sticking to the spoon. It's a nice little chili. Um, after it reduced, check the top off because I don't want the moisture. I don't want it to be watery. I'll put the top on a little later. Um, but then I taste it. You want to taste it. Um, if it's a bit bitter, that's fine. What you want to do, you want to add a tablespoon of agave and you want to add a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Um, that will um, balance out that bitterness. If it's a bit sweet, add, add some more water, let it reduce down, and then that should balance it out. If it's salty, the same thing. My rule of thumb on that type of thing is there are some main things in a dish that can always balance it out if it's missing something. And this is before I was completely plant-based. So it was sugar, salt, butter. Sweet, salty, and that rich flavor. Um, now, it's just really sugar and salt. If I need a richness, I'll do a fat or something like that. But mainly, I, I look at the sweetness and the saltiness. And if, if it's bitter, I, I may add both. If it's too salty, you know, sometimes I add water and sweetness. But that's the third element, basically now, which is the water. Um, especially on something that reduces that. Just add a little water, and you should be fine. So while we wait on the sweet potatoes, we'll get to the questions. This is what I call 57 questions. I'll take a few questions um, of our deck of 57 and answer them so you'll know a little bit about me. So, the number one thing is uh, favorite music genre. So that's, that's our first question, um, which is hip hop. Um, I only say hip hop, rap. Rap is my favorite genre. Um, I just grew up on it, you know. I'm starting to get into like, man, Really now, like Anita Baker and uh, just different people. Um, what I call Bob, I like Bobby Womack, some of his stuff. Um, just different people like that, of course. Luca, my parents listen to Luca. Um, I like to listen. To, I like to watch stuff like Unsung and then just hear about different groups. I listen. Just listen to the, the drum patterns and like the piano sound and all that type of stuff. But what is the foundation of me? Is rap music, man. I grew up. I was born in '86, so. Think about 86 to 2008 was really my my period where I was influenced by rap music. Not to not to do anything negative, just like you know, swagger, coolness, understanding your surroundings, all that type of stuff. I learned from rap music. I was uh, you know, my, my brothers are 10 and 8 years older than me, so basically if I wanted to, to get something on TV, I had to get the remote. In order to get the remote, you either gonna have to sneak it or you're gonna have to fight. Since I'm young by that age, I usually didn't win. Most of the time I didn't win. Um, so I would have to watch Rap City. I would have to watch, you know, Prince Day Joe, Joe Player, um, Big Tig, and all those people, which one I call. You know, I, I think I turned out okay. And I can rap a little bit too. I would freestyle, but that ain't my style, shall I'm acting like a Mitch, I'm not a paid fool. Favorite drink? 
I would have to say, man, 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 I'm gonna be honest, my go-to is lemonade. Like, I love lemonade. Like, I remember going to the fair, that was like the first time I had fresh squeezed lemonade. It's amazing, you know, squeeze it in a little cup, add the water and sugar, shake it up and give you the cup. I used to love going to the fair and getting fresh squeezed lemonade. And as I got older, I started trying to do it on my own. You start using lemonade concentrate, and then just got a little squeezer. I've been squeezing since. Uh, my daughter actually has a lemonade stand. That's how much. Now we love lemonade, and lemonade is amazing. I tell you, yeah, that, that's my favorite drink, man. I, I got, you know, I like ginger ale, different stuff. I'm not really into like pop. That's what we call it, pop. Um, I'm from Tulsa, so um, I'm not really into like colds and pop. I like Sprite when I was younger. But that full feeling kind of throws me off. If I want something like that or something that's like a beer, I'll do some ginger, when ginger ale, ginger beer, something like that. It's um, a black thing. I, I just keep it moving from there. Favorite fast food. So, growing up, my favorite, ooh, man, what I call it, boy. I'm gonna have to say, like growing up, I'll just say growing up, my favorite fast food is a place called Taco Bueno. It's a Dallas-based company, they were in Tulsa. They had this thing called Mucho Nacho. I mean, we had like Mazio pizza, all that type stuff, but the Mucho Nacho was like, that was everything, man. So I'll say the Mucho Nacho is like my favorite food as a youngster. Um, now that I'm older, ooh, man, it, it'll probably be like a pizza or like a uh, like nacho. Pizza or nacho. It's like Thanksgiving. That's like a go to. If, if I don't want to do too much, think about what I want to eat. You now, plant based, especially pizza and nachos. Usually, that's something quick that I just. I know I'm going to enjoy it. I know I'm going to get super full every time. So, yeah, pizza and nachos. Definitely my go to. Favorite sport. So, my favorite sport. It's a black Thanksgiving. Man, I. Thanks in the kitchen. The emotion of football. The emotion that you get from football is like none other. Um, and I'm, I'm not even a big proponent of football. If I had a son, I don't even know if I would want him to play football. I had so many injuries in football. Man, the emotion like football. It's like, like when I used to do catering events and, and selling, when I sell stuff out, it, it's that, it's that same, I get that same feeling like you going out and you trying to win and you know you're going to have to fight, you're going to have to scrap. You can't just walk by somebody. Like basketball, you may have an opponent, you just, you know, you get by them, you score them. Football, you get by somebody, they may grab your collar, you know, get you to that ground. Everything you got to dig and claw and scratch. Defense, you got to fight to stop the team. Offense, you got to push the defense back. You got to be one step ahead. Like, I love everything about football, man. The strategy. I think basketball is an ultimate team sport because it mirrors life better. Football is like it's a black thing. Football is a sport where you have to depend on other people in order to be successful. Like you can have a great quarterback and your defense is terrible, and you'll lose seventy to sixty-nine almost every game. You know what I mean? Like I'm a fan. I'm I'm an OU Oklahoma University of Oklahoma alum, so of course I'm a football fan. And that's how they offense has been like, so far um, under Lick and Riley. Like, they've been amazing, but, you know, Big 12 defense recruitment wasn't great at the time. So, you know, one of the things, man, you just, you have to have both. You have to have balance. And I, I think that's the big thing in life that I get from football. I try to pull um, things in life um, or what I call um, pull motivation from like different things in life, like football. You can you can have an amazing product. But if you don't market it, if you don't if you don't sell it, if you're not diligent in making it a consistent product, it don't matter. You, know, you, you can still lose. And at the same time, you can have all that other stuff. If you don't have a product, that's it. If you don't have the players, that's it. So um, yeah, man, football. Football is an amazing sport. Um, so let's go ahead and try to get this ready. Oh, I'm getting my setup right. We'll do one more question. So, we got one that's a uh, favorite car. So, it's not favorite car, dream car. Dream car is the Lamborghini 
Like, I, I remember like being young, I got, I got a pencil, you know, pencil used to, you know, everything that was like school related used to be like our house and our cars. Man. You know, you have a pencil with a car on it or this and that, um, or your, like your, your little lunchbox, whatever you had on that, that made you cool, right? So I had a pencil, I don't even know what I got it. I had a Lamborghini Diablo. And I, I didn't even know what Diablo meant at the time, but I just knew that car was like the flyest and I wanted to be in it. Um, so I've always just held my mind like, like if, I, if I get a nice little piece of change, I'm going to have a Lamborghini Diablo. All right, y'all, now we're good to go. Like I said, these are some thick potatoes. I was thinking about an hour, it took a little longer than an hour. Um, you know, it's good. So what we're gonna do now, is what I call open that thing up in the middle. Slice down the middle. And what I have here is what's this? So, um, some butter. What I call made from plants. It's called melt organic. It's a black thing. Take a little bit of that. And I'll add it to. And I'll be honest. How, how I do potatoes is slightly like how I grew up loving potatoes, um, stuffed potatoes. In Tulsa, we have this place called Rubicon. And that's the first place that I know of. Me, when I say what it is, that's the place I know of. Like stuffed potato with all this good stuff on it. But like Tulsa, we go like we go like a different way with it. Like they had ranch, cheese, seasoned salt. All that good stuff. It's on like a russet potato, huge potato. Then they had barbecue meat, maybe two, one meat, two meat. You may have turkey, you may have sausage, you may have like lamb, whatever you want on there. Um, and then they'll chop it like that. And that's kind of how we ate it. And it was good too, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and cheese, shredded cheese. So what we're gonna do with this, I added that melt butter. Now we're gonna take our chili. Just lay it right on top right there like that. Just cook it. I took the liberty to make some uh it's a to cut up some uh, some green onions. Like I said, green onions. Some, like, a little chive. Some of this what I call that. So that's that man. That's all. That's it. That's all we're dealing with there. Boom. And it's amazing. You got your protein. You got your beta carotene, your vitamin A. Um, you're dealing with something that's less hard on your heart. Um, you got a little vegetables in there, you got some onions, and you just got all those amazing flavors. Like I like I showed you, this this the chili is quick. The chili's quick. The potato is the extensive part. You want to throw it in, in your microwave and go ahead and get it done. That works as well. You can do that. So just know you got options. If you want to do it this way, it may take you about 15 minutes. If you want to do it this way, an hour plus on baking the potato. I baked it at 450. It's about an hour plus on baking a thick potato. Then a potato, of course, will work a little quicker. Uh, and then, you know, just 10, 15 minutes on the, on the actual chili. Like I said, this chili goes well with chili Frito pie, chili dogs, all that good stuff. I'll have a recipe for it later. I'm just, you know, I'm just getting down today. I'm, just, I'm always in the kitchen, so I thought I'd show y'all a little something. Yeah, man, I hope I hope you all try your iteration of it. Um, and then see how close you can get to your um, actual chili. Or you can just wait on the recipe. You know how we do. But, um, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Time to eat. It's long overdue. Had a, uh, a, a good day today. So, I'll talk to y'all later.